Okay, in this video, let's talk a little bit about solo piano keeping rhythm going, in, in this particular case, swing. We're dealing with the tune, What Is This Thing Called Love? Which is obviously one of the more popular jazz standards, especially in jam sessions. The reason why musicians like it is kind of sticking around minor keys. Minor keys tend to fall beneath the fingers pretty nicely. It's also fairly easy to solo over. But in this context, I'm talking about solo piano and keeping that sort of rhythm going without playing left hand bass. In other words, if you're going to play a left hand bass line for this, it would be something like this. But I'm not really going to do that. What I am going to do is mix between plunking down roots in the left hand and chords in the left hand, kind of interplaying, but also keeping the rhythm going. Let me play it for you first. I'm going to play the, the tune. I'm going to open up with maybe a rubato solo over the melody and then go into swing and you'll hear clearly where that is. And then I'm going to come back and discuss sort of some of the solo piano concepts surrounding that rhythm and keeping the swing going. All right, let's get started.
Okay, so I hope that was fun for you. I think the way I'd like to approach this is just kind of look at the left hand first. So of course, if the melody is, the left hand is doing some type of bass note and then chord. But not always catching the bass note. So if you're in 4-4 four, four time, one, two, three, four. So again, you've got that situation where you're not always doing the same thing in the left hand. And it's a lot easier actually to do it with the right hand because the left hand tends to fill in the spaces where the right hand leaves off. So for example, if I'm soloing like this, So there's a situation where you can hear the left hand sort of sticks itself in where the right hand isn't doing much. So the right hand plays a phrase, left hand picks that up, plays some roots, plays some chords. So I think the best way to practice this is to take a look at the, the chords themselves and try to get that left hand to do different things while still sticking with the beat. So. I think you can get the idea where I'm not really sticking to any specific pattern. I'm just soloing in the left hand without actually a melody line. For example, the right hand is doing things like this. The left hand's not doing. In fact, it's very difficult for the left hand to do that if you don't practice it a lot. A lot of times you get these where the left hand and right hand are playing in unison. But when it's playing by itself, you typically don't play solos with the left hand. But what you do do, again, is sort of sparsely plunk down roots, fifths, and chords. And sometimes, once in a while, you're playing a left hand bass nine. Now you saw the left hand bass. It's doing those types of things where you're using passing notes to get to the key of the moment. I think you might want to think of it like stride. But it's not. It's, it's more like interplay than stride. It's a concept, I think, which is obviously somewhat advanced, although I think you understand in terms of the context of the situation where the left hand is just basically interplaying 
right? Right hand digs in, does some melody, left hand kind of sparsely supports that. And you've got sometimes bass notes, sometimes just chords or the reverse. And I think it's a concept worth practicing. What I would suggest again is to practice it just with the left hand alone. And of course you've got the scales and the chords and everything to work with. I hope that was helpful. If you have any specific questions about any specific, again, chord voicings or anything you want to talk about in terms of what is this thing called love, I'm all ears. Just let me know. And if you like the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel. We could use a few more subscribers. We're just getting going here. So thanks for your time. My name is Paul Toby. I hope you had a good time.